It is my distinct honor to introduce to you the 11th president of Purdue University, Dr. Franz Cordova. The Board of Trustees voted unanimously during a special meeting to hire Franz Cordova, current chancellor at the University of California at Riverside, as Purdue's 11th president since 1869. The trustees interviewed several outstanding candidates who would have been excellent presidents of this university. Dr. Cordova stood out as the right person at the right time for Purdue. Her vision for Purdue and higher education matches the vision of this board. President Jiske often described the board outstanding candidates for high-level positions at Purdue by saying, quote, their resumes glow in the dark. The breadth of France's expertise, which as you might expect from a space scientist, enables me to make a powerful statement about her resume. Dr. France Cordova's resume is truly out of this world. Purdue's nine-month search examined scores of candidates. Cordova, a former NASA chief scientist, said it was an honor to be selected ahead of a university that has been called the cradle of astronauts. It would be hard to be at Purdue, the intellectual launching pad for 22 astronauts, without commenting on how extraordinary an opportunity this is for me, a space scientist. Since I was a young girl, I looked up and I wondered about those tiny points of light in the night sky. Many Purdue graduates have traveled in that darkness and seen the sunrise every 90 minutes. I feel privileged to be at the wellspring of inspiration for these spacefaring boilermakers. Cordova will be Purdue's first woman president. The Stanford graduate will also be Purdue's first minority president, and as she quipped, the first soccer mom president. Cordova praised Purdue's history as a land-grant university and the impact it's had on the state, including during the last seven years under President Martin Jiske, whose strategic plan has focused on learning, discovery, and engagement. Cordova said her strategic plan will be developed in collaboration with stakeholders throughout the university and the state. She said her highest priority will be the excellence of a Purdue education for students and that the new plan will continue to enhance diversity at Purdue. With its great strength in engineering, Purdue has a significant opportunity to address what has been called the quiet crisis, the dearth of women and minorities entering science and engineering as students and professors. Purdue can be the most welcoming of everyone, the most nurturing of environments for the new talent that this country will need as it seeks to maintain its economic competitiveness. The thriving cultural centers and diverse programs at Purdue are great assets in building a welcoming, inclusive campus. Cordova said she and her husband, Chris Foster, are looking forward to exploring the campus and community on an upcoming listening tour. The former Penn State University department head said she's thrilled to be back on a campus with a football team. Cordova expects to be in her new post in August.